Hey guys, welcome to Turner's Cars. Today we're looking at our 2012 Honda Step Wagon. So this is slightly, I would say it's a gunmetal grey, slightly lighter than gunmetal. Very unique colour. We've got the slightly sportier version, so it does have the fog lamps, fog lights at the bottom. Really good fuel economy, so four stars out of six for a people mover car. It's pretty good. You know, let's take you around the vehicle. So it looks like this one does have the body kit on it, so it's got the nice bottom, a little bit of the extra skirt along the side. It's got the sliding doors, let's see, sliding doors both sides. Um, the back of the vehicle there, so it has got the rear wiper. It does have a reverse camera sitting down there on the bottom. And factory tinted glass as well for your windows. So you do get a bit of a tinting there for our glare of our sun. Okay, it does come with alloy wheels. Let's see if I can zoom in there a bit to have a look at those. So they are 15 inch alloy wheels there. All four. Now this keyless entry, so it does have the smart keys with the ability to open the doors too from the side. So let's see if I hold that button down as you see there, the door open, and I do that to the opposite side, just giving the hold the button down for a couple of seconds and the door will automatically open. Same again for closing it. A couple of seconds, so that one's closing, and two seconds, and it'll respond. So with the smart keys, it's just as basic as keeping the key in your pocket or bag. You can unlock the car and lock it by its keyless functions, and jump in the vehicle and turn on the ignition without the key. So that is good for convenience, especially if you're in a rush and you can't find your keys in your, in your bag. Okay, we'll have a look on the inside. So we have got manual functions there as well. The controls there to open and close these sliding doors. And you can have that function off as well. So it's just manually sliding with your um, force of your arm. So it has got electric mirrors and a retractable mirror as well so you can control it by electronics and the hold in the mirror okay looking through the car the does have a vanity mirror for the driver and passenger so both sides get a mirror there have a look at the storage you've got a nice little cubby hole up the top there a nice big Glove box. It has got paddle shift, so it is Tiptronic and you can control your gears from the bottom, or from the sorry, from the pedals, plus and minus down there. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we do have auto lights, so let's see. Let me get that to zoom in. So it does have the let's see off park automatic lights with the sensor and your normal headlight so if you leave it on auto it will turn on when the sun sets and I guess it will turn on when the turn off when the sun rises and just having a look over here you have got the rear wiper as well so there's rear wiper on the back okay you have got the steering wheel controls it does come with those always helps if you want to change your volume you don't have to go over to the radio and do it the cd player will be behind the unit here give that a push that'll eject out otherwise these units are universal size um, so that you can interchange it with the new zealand units and it'll fit in perfectly what we got down here two cup holders it does have a usb input down here another 12 volt charger or 120 watt max plug there. 
Okay, um, got all your normal controls, I guess for your aircon. It does have the rear as well, so you can adjust the rear temperature in the back of the vehicle. So as you can see there, you've got the air vents going on the back. Um, and the passengers also get a control as well up there. Um, let's have a look. You've also got your climate control as well. So if you want to set a temperature, the system will maintain temperature by increasing the temperature, decreasing the temperature, so it can maintain the selected temperature that you've selected. Very nice condition, very well looked after. The seats don't even look like they've been sat in. They still look perfect. And going into the back as well, this is very nice condition. The last owner of this um, has looked after the car. They've definitely looked after it. Yeah, I'm just going to have a sit in the back. Get that open. Okay, now, uh, of these cars, this is probably one of the most spacious ones I've ever experienced. So the leg room that I've got is remarkable. I've got literally probably a 30 centimetre rule of space between my knee and the back of the seat. Um, plenty of room to put another two big adults next to me. Right, let's go into the middle here. You've got little armrests, that's quite standard in vehicles nowadays. Um, it does have ISOFIX, so it does have the ISOFIX bars there, so you can bring the car seats along. So let me show you down there, let's see. Yeah, they're located. And on the back of the vehicle, oh sorry, on the back of these seats there, you'll find the, the anchor points as well. So it does have all the modern car functions. Now if you get into the back, the seats all fold up. So you can pop that up to get into the back, nice and easy. And very spacious in the back too. So three seat belts in the back, three in the middle, two at the front. So a nice eight seater for a big family. Uh, one's in the very back there, cup holders as well, so you get a couple of those. A very spacious vehicle, it's probably got at least six inches from my head to the roof. And I'll just put that, that, put that down, I'll see if I can do the other side as well. I just want to see how much boot space we get out of this vehicle if you do need it. So just having a look in the back here, open the boot, it does have the very deep storage in the back there. Now if you're not um, using the back seats here, the three seats at the back, they can fold down. So if we put, the, put those down for you, so just pulling the little tag of the seat, that'll fold down. Now we go for this little one in the middle here, give that a pull. And that will so give that a pull there. That'll fold the whole seat down, as you can see there. Now give that a little push, and then that all locks into place. So I guess if you've got the other seat up as well, you've got a nice big station wagon size boot, so you can fit in a coffee table, your whole set of dining chairs. Uh, Anything big, you can probably even put a mattress in there and um, sleep in the back of it too. And very easy to use. Just a couple of pulls on the latches to bring that up. And good to go again. Very comfortable car guys. I definitely recommend coming in for a test drive if you've got a big family or just feel, if you feel like this is something um, that you would require size. Very easy to drive, nice visibility and large side mirrors too. It's got your 
monsoons on the side so you can still keep the windows down ajar on those um, hot rainy days and when the rain's there you can keep it open and the rain's not going to come in the window Alright, so that's our Honda Step Wagon. If you do want to come in for a test drive, uh, you can get our details from the listing. You'll have a phone number, email address. Um, so I do recommend making a booking, come in for an appointment, take it for a drive, and we'll sit down and have a chat. Thanks, guys.